everybody and welcome to the channel. It's Polyester here and this is my second YouTube channel called Polypops where I make videos about my hobby of collecting these Funko Pop figures you see here by me. And today we're going to open up um, a new product from Funko, new to me, something we have never opened up on the channel before and that's a Blockbuster Rewind figures. So this is a new line launched by Funko and I think with this uh, they're trying to cash in on the nostalgia bait of these white clamshell VHS cases from Blockbuster. Um, and they're also trying to reduce costs with a smaller product. So we've seen the success that they've had with those little itty bitty Funko figures. Those seem to be received well. And um, they're obviously cheaper to make with the increased cost of petroleum, which they need to make the vinyl seems like they're going with smaller products instead of those big 18 inch figures or, or 10 inch figures that they're trying to focus on smaller stuff now i've seen a lot of people say that this line is a dud and they think it's going to be quickly canceled i kind of like it and uh i think i'm going to try and get these so it has a few things that i don't like about it it has that blind bag aspect where you have to open it to see what you're going to get inside because there is a chance to chase and unlike a Funko Pop, when you get a chase, it'll just say chase right here and you can see it on the shelf that it's a chase. These, you don't know if you get a chase unless you open them, just like the sodas, right? With that blind bag aspect. So uh, yeah, I don't like the blind bag. I also do not like the price point of these. And I'll show you what I mean by that and we'll, we'll compare the sizes. But um, I wasn't gonna get any of these until Hot Cash came out at um hot topic because i just think that the price is inflated for what you're getting but these started to disappear and this was a hot topic exclusive so i i kind of panicked and i grabbed one at hot topic it didn't, turns out i didn't need to do that because i just could have ordered it on their website with my order that i got here today that i used hot cash on but uh yeah so the price point of these are $19.90 Canadian for regular figures, $21.90 Canadian for uh, the Hot Topic exclusive figure, which to me is nutty. Like it, it's just, it's overpriced. When you consider that this size figure is $15.90 at Hot Topic and this size figure is $19.90 or $21.90 if an exclusive that's out of whack these are overpriced so I kind of made up my mind that well yes I do like these and I want to collect them not paying full price I'm just not gonna do it I'll live without it if I can't get it at a discount so uh, I do really like Blockbuster I recently picked up some of these Blockbuster puzzles that are horror themed over at uh, Dollarama of all places I don't know what the what the regular retail is on these but these are cool 500 piece puzzles i think i got them for four dollars at dollarama these are great so i like blockbuster stuff i like the nostalgia i also think that these cases would look great on a shelf with all the spine showing and the figures just tucked away inside we're gonna go ahead and open this up and we'll compare the sizes of the different lines that funko has right now and then we're gonna open up my order that i got from hot topic that i used my hot cash coupons on where um you get $15 off of every $30 you spend so these figures are $14.90 on the Hot Topic website in US dollars so I was able to use my hot cash coupons and basically get them for half price buy one get one free uh so they want them cost me $7.50 US a piece and that's where I want to be on this all right so we're going to go ahead and open up this one first and then we'll get into the box. You can get, you have a chance at a chase on these. As I said, the chases are one in six, but I also heard that, um, that these cases come three figures to a case. So for the sodas, which are also one in six chase chance, you can buy a case of six, which will pretty well guarantee that you're gonna get a chase in there since the chases are one in six. You buy a case of six one of them is going to be a chase almost always so but with these if you're somebody who's like i gotta have them all i gotta have the regular and the chase then you can't 
like buy two cases and guarantee it. You could get two cases of three that are all the common. So much harder to uh, stack the odds to guarantee a chase on these. So this is what the figure looks like. It's um, Eric Draven, the Crow, which was Brandon Lee, Bruce Lee's son, who died on the set of this movie in a firearms accident. And the chase is him shirtless. Now, I don't really like the look of the chase on this, so I hope I don't get the chase, ironically. But we'll see what happens here. So, um, what else was I going to say about this? We'll compare the sizes of these figures after. We're going to go ahead and open it up. And no chase. All right. Uh, people complain about these figures that they think they look cheap and small and they compare them to Playmobil figures. I don't I don't agree with that at all. I think they're pretty cool. So I, a lot of people think this line is dead in the water, but which may be true, but I don't know. So there you go. There's your Eric Draven. That's the size of this figure. Can I turn this light down? I think it's like it's, it's blowing out the white balance a little bit. Can we turn down? No, well, that's as low as it goes, huh? That's as low as my brightness gets on my brand new lasting light. So there's Eric Draven. You can't even see his, his smile. There we go. And it comes with a card inside, a Blockbuster Rewind character card. This is, you know, as if he had his own membership to Blockbuster, the Eric Draven. And so if you had a chase, the card would indicate that it's a chase. So we're gonna tuck that card back in here and his little bubble and snap him back into place there. Yeah, so that's what they look like, these little mini VHS. A lot of people thought these were gonna be bigger than they are upon release. And uh, you know, I kinda did too. I think they are a little smallish, especially as I said, for the price. But you know, they're not gonna take up a lot of room. So let's compare this to a soda, because they're smaller than sodas, if you can believe it, and they're much smaller than uh, Funko Pops. So again, which leads me to this whole price point thing. So we're gonna go ahead and pop this Eric Draven out here, and we'll show you the size difference, which is why I think they're releasing this line, less plastic, less cost, but, I don't think the price is right. Okay, so here's the Eric Draven Funko Pop compared to the Eric Draven Rewind. So you can see there's quite a bit more plastic involved in the pop than the Rewind, yet this is a cheaper item. I don't have any explanation for that. And even the sodas are bigger. I don't have a, a Crow soda. If I do, it's not handy. You can see even the sodas are larger than these rewinds. So this is the smallest, smallest line currently, other than the biddies. So I don't know why, you know, this is $21.90. Mind you, the price of sodas is getting up there too. But I thought that was because of the metal. So I don't know. I don't know what's going on. But like I said, I do really enjoy this line, but I'm not gonna be a buyer at full price. I'll just stick to Funko Pops. Like, at full price, I feel like I'm getting more for my money. I am getting more for my money. You can see it when I demonstrate it to you on camera that there's more plastic in a Funko Pop. It's a more substantial figure by weight, height, whatever you want to say, size, compared to these little rewinds. But I do think the rewinds are cool, and I'll try and get as many of them as I can at the right price. Okay, so here we got this box today uh, from Hot Topic, and this has rewinds in it that I used those hot cash coupons on. So these all basically became buy one, get one free, which is where I wanna be at about $7.50 US each. Oh wow, these all have their own little sorters. Okay, this is gonna be a bit to get through here. They all have sorters. That's surprising. It's very surprising to me. What is on the, what are these? These Are these hold dates? Stop. 
Yeah, you can't sell these till September 1st, it says. Yeah. Do not release these until September 1st, whatever you say. All right, so we're going to have to pull all of these out of these cardboard sorters before we start opening them. So we're going to have a little chat. So, uh... Funko went gung-ho with this. I was very surprised that they launched this line very aggressively, especially given their financial consideration. That's Toy Story here. These are all going to be different, no duplicates. Um, when the sodas were first released, I want to say in 2020, they started out small. They released, I think, maybe... Uh, six or eight not very many not very many sodas it was a very small run to like test it i guess and that's when funko was doing very well financially and now they're not doing so well financially so when they released these they came out like gangbusters with like 25 different rewinds at launch which i was like that is crazy who can afford to just take on an extra line of these 25 of these uh, rewinds at launch at 20 bucks a piece like I don't know so I, I think that's part of what hurt them too I think they should have started this small all right I'm, I'm not gonna bother to show you all of them on camera and we'll just open them uh, as we go and you don't need to see what I'm pulling out of each of these boxes so I think like that was a very aggressive marketing to have all these come out at once like 25 different rewinds and uh now we're starting to see that maybe they're slowing down already because for new york city comic-con they'll have one exclusive um for for san diego comic-con i want to say they had like eight or nine san diego comic-con exclusives and none of them have sold out so, but I mean, even the Funko Pops aren't selling out from convention exclusive. So it's a different time. All right, two more of these to go and then we'll start to get into them. So now what will I do? I'm, I'm not gonna be a chase hunter on these no matter what. I'm not gonna be buying multiples of these in order to find the chase. If I get the chase, great. If I, if I don't, oh well. Um, However, if I do get the chase, I might buy another one, assuming that I'll get the common the next time, and then I'll have both versions. But I'm not going to keep buying commons over and over again, hoping that they're chases. That's not going to happen. Uh, one thing that I do really like that they're doing is the Scooby-Doo ones. You get a character from the main Mystery Incorporated gang, such as Shaggy or Velma. And then if you get the chase, the chase winds up being one of the villains from Scooby-Doo, which I think that's really cool that it's a completely different character. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm not going to uh, keep buying common after common, hunting down those those villains. Okay, so first one we're going to open up is Disney's Pinocchio. I don't think any of the others here are exclusive. I think these are all commons that you can buy at any retailers. And these are $14.90 a piece U.S., so we're gonna open these up one at a time, see what we get. One in six are chases, so we got eight here. So we should get at least one chase. Will we get luckier than that? Let's find out. So here's what the Pinocchio looks like. And then the chase would be him with the donkey ears. So here we go, bang. Regular Pinocchio. Should I pull all these out so you can see them in hand? You don't need to see all their their membership cards, do you? <laughs> Pinocchio. So if it was the chase, then the, the card would reflect that and it would say chase on it. And I think it would show chase version of the figure. There's Pinocchio. You can see why people say these remind them of Playmobil figures. They are pretty similar. They are larger than a Playmobil figure, however, but not by much. But I do like these. I like the nostalgia. It gives me a lot of memories of you know, going to Blockbuster, picking out a movie, seeing hundreds of the brand new titles and people take them home and watch them. I do like the nostalgia bait for these cases. I think this is a neat, neat series. And if it's if it's dead, if it's dead on arrival and there aren't going to come anymore and this line gets canceled, 
better for me. I'll go. Uh, I'll go and complete the set, get all the rewinds, and just be satisfied to have them. All right. Should we do all the Disney ones here first? Why not? Let's do Disney first here. A lot of Disney. So we got Beauty and the Beast, and this one is Belle. Um, I don't know what the chase is on this. I don't know. I didn't study the chases on these. I, I'm just buying these to get the normal ones. I'm not like, oh gosh, I hope I get the chases. So we'll see if it's something different than this Provincial Life Bell. No, nope. Provincial Life Bell, we got the common. There must be more to this Provincial Life. There we go. They're cute, right? They're cute. Some people think they're creepy. I don't know. What do you think? People don't like these smiles. I think they all have the same facial features. I don't know. They don't bother me. Like I said, I like these little cases. So next for Disney, we've got... How many other Disney ones we got? Two more. Peter Pan... There's your Peter Pan. And this one, I do know what the chase is. The chase is uh, his shadow. So the figure is just plain black. I kind of hope I don't get that one. I think that's kind of a, a boring or lazy chase. So, nope. No chase. We just got the normal Peter Pan. Yeah, as I said, this would just be completely black like it's Peter's shadow. But I got in the chase here. So we've opened four up and no chases out of nine. I've seen some people say that they think that it isn't really one in six odds, that they're harder to get than that for the chases, but I don't know. All right, next we have Buzz Lightyear from Toy Story. And the chase for this one is he doesn't have his helmet deployed. So the clear plastic piece around his head is missing or uh, folded down or something. Buzz Lightyear to the rescue! Oh, is that, a, is that the chase? Yeah, I think we got the chase. I don't see the helmet. Am I wrong? Yeah, look at that. Chase card. So that's a chase. We got the chase. You got the chase. Yeah, it says right here in the little Funko Crown. You got the chase, Buzz Lightyear. So we got a chase. And... No helmet. I wonder how hard it would be to just crack the helmet off of a normal one. Just go, hey, I made my own chase. Is it really that simple? Might be. I don't know. You just got the bubble there on the normal one. Could it really be that simple? <laughs> like if you just went, I want the chase, but I don't want to keep buying them. I'm just going to crack the helmet off the one I got. I don't know. But, you know, I have the card, so I have the provenance to prove it's a real chase. All right, next we have National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation with Clark Griswold, as played by Chevy Chase there. And I don't know what the chase is on this one. He's holding like a moose, a moose cup in his hand here. Um, maybe the chase has something to do with the string of Christmas lights, not sure. All right, can we get two chases? Can we get lucky and beat the odds and get two chases on this run? The, the Buzz Lightyear chase is kind of lazy, too, if you ask me, but okay. All right, Clark Griswold, bang. Oh, we got the chase here, too. Look at that. He is holding Christmas lights. Clark Griswold chase card. You got the chase, so it's Clark's membership card. Chase card. It's a different style than uh, the Buzz Lightyear. I guess Buzz Lightyear can't actually get a Blockbuster membership card. <laughs> so yeah, instead of holding the moose mug with the eggnog, he's got Christmas lights. So we got Clark Griswold Chase. All right, I'm happy with that. We got two chases so far. I like that one. And three more to go. Maybe they are one in six. Okay, next we got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And this is Leonardo. And I promised my son that if I get the chase on this one, he can have it. Because chase for Leonardo is a happy face. 
he doesn't really like the aggressive, angry face Leonardo. So he's like, ah, oh, I, I like that rewind, but I want the happy face. So I said, if I get the happy face, you can have it. So everybody think positive, think good thoughts for my son that this is gonna be a chase and he can get a happy face Leo right off into the sunset. Here we go, happy face Leo, bang, no. Angry face Leo, womp, womp, womp. Sorry, son. He's like, well, will you buy more? <laughs> like, I don't know about that. So yeah, apparently Leo's allowed to get a Blockbuster membership character card, not the chase. Just the normal Leo. Mm. Aggressive Leo. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Heroes in a Half Shell. Turtle Power. All right, so we got Leo. Aggressive face. Put him back in there. Two left to get. Oh, it's three left. Oh, sorry, my bad. How many have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, we have ten. We have ten. My bad. We have. 10 altogether. One Disney here that I miss is Fantasia, Mickey Mouse. There's Mickey, and the chase is him holding the pails of water from Fantasia, where he's the sorcerer's apprentice gone wrong. Pails of water. I think this is a small, small rewind, too, like compared to the others for size. Mickey Mouse, no pails of water. Just normal Mickey. Maybe he just seems smaller because of his hat. Let's see him compare to, to Leo. Oh gosh, you don't want to come out. There we go. Yeah, he's much. Ah, Mickey! Sorry, my bad. Wow. Mickey Mouse. Yeah, he's much smaller. Tad, anyway. Tad smaller. Mickey from Fantasia. Two left to go. Should I be greedy and ask for one more chase out of ten? Well, we beat the odds already. Two out of ten is pretty good out of one and six. This one's Batman. This is the first Batman movie. Michael Keaton, Batman. Uh, I don't know what the chase is on this. Not sure. Mm. Will we find out? Da, da, da. Ah, plastic wrap. Static cling. Bang. Doesn't look like the chase to me. Looks the same. Doesn't look any different. Character card. Batman can go to Blockbuster and rent movies. Batman. I'm Batman. You want to get nuts? Michael Keaton, Batman. He was the best part of that Flash movie, honestly. I knew he would be. So good. Okay, that's Batman. They also have like a, a, a Super Friends, Adam West era, Blue Batman from the cartoon. Uh, that was a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. So I'm waiting for a big deal on, on those Comic-Con exclusives before I buy any of that stuff. Jurassic Park, Ian Malcolm. Dr. Ian Malcolm, the scientist from Jurassic Park as played by Jeff Goldblum. Let's open this one up. Uh, I think the chase is him holding the the flare to distract the T-Rex. All right, last chance to get lucky. Bang. Nope, no flare. Regular old Ian Malcolm. Ian Malcolm's going to Blockbuster with his character card here. Yeah, so the, I like that they have these cards to denote right away if you got a chase. There's your Ian Malcolm. Oh, the sunglasses look nice. I thought they would just be opaque black, but they're translucent. You can see his eyes underneath. That's a neat figure. Ian Malcolm. So that's the style of these uh, Funko Rewinds. I don't know. What do you think? Are these going to be a hit or a miss? Do you think they're just going to be a slow burn and they're going to catch on eventually? Or are these dead on arrival? What do you think? I personally like them. 
I'm going to keep on getting them as long as I can get them cheap because I'm not interested. I'm not a buyer at $20, $22 a piece. I think this is more of a $10 product given the size. But that's just me. I think that I don't think these should be more than Funko Pops. I think they should be priced less than Funko Pops. But that's me. I would be if these were 10 bucks, I'd be over it all over it, you know. But I think they're overpriced at 20 for sure. Even maybe somewhere in the middle. But 20 bucks is just too high for me. So I'm only gonna get them if I can get them on a deal. And if they're floundering, it sounds like if I'm patient, I will be able to get them on a deal. So I got all these with my hot cash to save uh, half price. The only one I paid extra for was that uh, the Crow from Hot Topic. Where, and even then, still I had like a buy one, get one 30% off on another product. So I was able to cost average a few dollars off of that one. But yeah, if I can get them cheaper, I'll be interested in getting a bunch of these. So who did I get the chases on now? It would be um, Clark Griswold and Buzz Lightyear. Will I buy another Buzz Lightyear? Just to get the common? Don't know. The Clark, I might. I like the Clark a lot. So, but like I said, I'm not going to buy more of the others just to go chase hunting because the odds are against you. But common hunting, if you have a chase, to me, then that makes sense. All right, well, that's all I have to show you today. Thank you so very much. Wow, we, we almost hit a half an hour on this. <laughs> Thanks for bearing with me if you made it this far in the video. Um, as always, I appreciate the time you spend here with me on the channel. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It helps the channel a ton, and we'll see you next time. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.